Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, many countries have um, requirements about uh, filling up certain documentation when you travel to their country apart from visa and other permits. Like when you come to Canada, you have you have to fill arrival information. You can do it using ArriveCan and, and also at the port of entry. But if you do using ArriveCan, it saves you time. Similarly, for Cam Cambodia, they have this e-arrival system. This is an app that you can download and uh, fill it up on your mobile app and also you can submit online so in this video i'm going to show you online and uh, as they have written all travelers are required to submit this cambodia e arrival card within seven days before their arrival okay and it's available in multiple languages okay i have selected english but you can select others too based on what you know so i click on submit online okay so you have like uh, multiple option cambodian citizen foreign visitor and update information so in update information like what happens is you submit it right but uh, before arrival there has been some changes so you do you can come and update that information that's what they have it here now we'll check for foreign service visitor, just for example uh, but before I proceed further, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. And also, I would like to clarify neither I am an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So, if you take anything out of this video, do it at your own risk. All right, guys. So, you can submit it in two modes individual or group. So, I'm going for individual, but you have to do as per your case. Let's see what are the information it is asking. Okay. So, new individual submission. Okay, first profile e visa on arrival, period of travel to Cambodia, mode of travel, address, health, customs. Okay, everything is there. So I'm gonna go put some sample passport number. This is gonna be sample, guys. Date of passport expiry. Just sample. Surname. As per make sure you do you enter it very carefully and don't do any spelling or minor mistake. Jan, just sample country of birth. And occupation. I'm sorry. Sorry for my typo. And you have to do everything as per your case. This information is sample only. Passport photo. Click here to upload passport photo. And contact information. WhatsApp also. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. So I'm just going to go through this and uh, let's see if I can bypass these. This is by default. We can select no as well. Then it will disable these fields. If you select yes. So basically with this, you can apply for e visa as well. That's good. So I'll just select tourist and then next. Period of travel, okay. Date of arrival. This needs to be sub. This this uh, e arrival can be submitted within seven days. So I just select one date. Date of departure. So one two three. Let's select this one, okay. Next. Mode of travel: air, commercial airline company. Wow, everything is already populated wow just sample guys or, or travel purpose okay 
I'll just say tourism. You need to do as per your case. Address in Cambodia or where you're going to stay hotel. So in hotel name. You need to provide proper information. OK, don't do like this. No. Anyway, this is a sample. Entering and departing. Entering and departing or entering city. Cambodia. OK, OK, from where you will come and where you will go. You need to put as per your case. This is just sample. Health and symptom that you are feeling no listed. In last place, into the country that you have seen, visited or came from in last 14 days. The mandatory information. So I need to set up something. I just did this. I'm sorry. All the required information, what am I? What am I missing, guys? Oh, this one, then. Sorry. Yeah, be very careful. Now, custom declaration. And then from the next will be submit. And if for e-visa any payment is required, they will process from there. So they have shown you the duty free allowance of major items. Goods to declare. Are you carrying foreign currency worth rupees 10,000 or its equivalent? Have goods to declare. If you select yes, it will ask more questions. If you select no, that's fine. So you need to do as per your case. Like if you select yes, you need to click on declare goods and then submit. Otherwise, it's fine. Next. You will be like submitting. As I said, you need to check this box, go to the next stage and submit. Of course, like this is a sample video, so I won't go away from here. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.